Hey guys, Garrett McLaughlin here. Want to take a quick second and talk about skipping. Skipping is one of the most important and beneficial foundational movements. If you're a runner or someone that um, plays sports and you're unable to skip, it's, I think it's very beneficial to take yourself back to that place where you can help regain that movement pattern because it sets the stage for um, good movement, efficiency, and performance when it comes to running. So. A lot of times I see my runners who start off my programs for the first time, um, they, they tend to become a little embarrassed that they have trouble skipping. Um, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I think it's kind of interesting how many people lose the ability to skip properly. But if we take you back to that place um, and really break down the, the skipping pattern, you'll actually improve very quickly. It's just, just building that connection back up again. What I like to start with is always just that in place skipping motion, but actually a walking or, or, or a very slow speed. So if I'm just teaching them how to go here, again, if it's one of my field sports athletes, or some of my runners and triathletes now, we're working on actually creating power into the ground, we can go and you can hear a little louder pushing down, switching, but just regaining that pattern, that, that cross crawl, it's called a cross crawl pattern, the skipping pattern in place is the first starting point. From there, without moving forward, we're gonna actually just gonna skip in place. So start, opposite arm, opposite leg, where a lot of people always get messed up, they always go same sided. Opposite arm and leg, push into the ground and come up. Gonna slow as you need to, but just trying to coordinate the movement. It could be just doing individual skips and then setting up again. Again, wherever you need to be, but we're eventually trying to build up to the in place, skip, standing still. From there, once we learn that movement pattern in place, we can actually put it into motion. So from here, and nice and slow, I think I'm, I'm doing it in place, but then I'm slowly pushing off and propelling myself forward. So that is the best starting point to help regain the skipping pattern. I think as part of your dynamic warm, this is something very beneficial to do. Even if you're just standing in place, working on that high knee march, add the skips, add it to some motion, and in no time, you'll have that skipping pattern down with no issues.